morning. My name is Charlie Wallace from the Anderson Township Historic Society. I'm here today with Don Perry, another member of the Historic Society. And this is part of the Anderson Township's 225th anniversary celebration. Uh, we're sitting in front of the James Clark House, which is down on the corner of Huntley and Clough Pike. Uh, this house was built uh, many years ago, 1802, roughly thereabouts. And at this point, I'm going to turn the conversation over to Don Perry, who's not only has extensive knowledge about this house, but is, he's also related through genealogy to people that lived here. Good morning. This is the James Clark House. It was built in 1802 from stone that was probably pulled right out of Clough Creek across Clough Pike. Mm -hmm. uh, it's originally eight rooms, four down, four up. And for the time, 1802 was really a magnificent structure. Uh, has a long history, of course. People lived in this house until the 1990s, but really only uh, what I consider two families. James Clark and his son lived here until about 1854. In 1854, Adam Lizer purchased the house. His granddaughter bought the house from Adam and his heirs, and I think 1919. Uh, she was a Mesmer, or her married name was Mesmer, and the Mesmers lived here until they sold the property to Anderson Township in 1995. How's that? That's Is good. Is that a quick genealogy? That's good. And you know, some of the things that uh, looking at the notes last night was the diary of his journal he kept getting here because I just assumed he came down the river from Fort Pitt like most people, but he'd travel over land and flatboat. I like to even embellish that a little bit. James Clark was an interesting guy. Mm -hmm. The Clarks had been in Virginia since the 1600s. His father, John, was killed during one of the battles in the Revolutionary War. Mm -hmm. uh, as a result, uh, uh, James' older brother inherited the farm. He only got 50 acres, so he decided it was time to move, I think. Uh, it, it turns out that he may have been a drummer at Yorktown, that's a little questionable. He was pretty young to be involved in the Revolutionary War, but I've seen it recorded that way a, a couple places. In 1797, his seven and a half month pregnant wife, four children, ages nine and under, left uh, for Anderson Township. They traveled about 500 miles cross country, crossing the mountains, crossing the rivers, uh, being robbed, losing their horses, mm -hmm. getting stuck in the snow, having the wheels uh, float off the wagons until they got to uh, Kanawha uh, River. He sold one of his horses, he sold his watch, bought a flatboat, and in uh, about a week and a half from that point, came to Anderson Township, landing here in uh, April 14th, 1797. He bought this property, or a portion of it, for $10 in 1797, and uh, proceeded to settle in. He was a school teacher, the first school teacher of Anderson Township. Uh, he had a grist mill, probably right here on Clough Pike. Mm -hmm. He had a distillery uh, much later, more about eight, 1817. But as I mentioned, he built this house in 1802. Uh, he was also a state legislator like Ichabod Miller down the road. He was later, if I remember, uh, 1808, 09, and 10. He was a judge. Uh, he married people, like 75 different couples over the years. And, you know, at one point he had several hundred acres right here in the adjacent area, including an orchard nursery. So very important uh, to the early history of Anderson Township. Uh, today he's largely unknown. He lived, he was born in 1765 and died in 1852, so he lived a long life. Uh, a really interesting guy. A productive man. That's yes. Right. One of the things I recall, a friend of mine, uh, Chris Clark, was obviously related to James Clark, 
five generations later and cousins, distant cousins of Don here, told me that back in the 1969, he and his father met at this house and they talked about the construction of the house and why it was constructed with 18 inch thick walls and the angles of the windows. And I think Don probably knows more about that than I do. Well, I, from what I hear, uh, 18 inch walls would easily support a lot more stories of house than what's here. Um, there are only four windows on the first floor. They do angle outward toward the inside uh, for a couple reasons. I think in case uh, there was some unfortunate uh, incidences with uh, Native Americans or other people a lot dis more uh, unruly. And also uh, at that time glass was very expensive. So you kept the windows smaller because you couldn't afford the glass but you'd open it to the inside to not only give a better line of fire of muskets, but also to put more light in the room. So um, another thing that's kind of unusual about the house is there are two chimneys on the north side and none on the, uh, on the south side. Mm -hmm. I, I suspect that one of them was for the kitchen, the one toward the west. The other one was for the, the family to, to live. There are also two chimney openings on the second floor, which I think is a little unusual for that period of house, particularly here in the area, since most of the housing at that time still in, in Anderson Township was log houses. And I, I've got to say that the township have, have really been great stewards of the place. They completely reinforced the foundation on the inside. They sistered all the floor joists. And I understand they repointed the exterior stone, really saving the house for another 200 years. It's amazing to think where we're sitting, what it looks like now versus what it looked like in those days. Absolutely. I, I just can't even imagine that. I was reading last night, I think, in one of his journals, how he built the grist mill and uh, ground some corn to his expectations. And I think that was in January. And then in uh, March, a heavy rain came and washed the dam away. Yeah. So. In addition to all of his activities around here, judge and all that sort of thing, it had to be a terrible pain to uh, be a state legislator. You know, he had to travel by horseback from here to Chillicothe, Ohio, for the uh, the sessions. Uh, he mentions in his diary that he was he was sick for part of that. So, uh, you know, he did a lot. <coughs> excuse me, a lot for the community as well as having 10 children and uh, all these enterprises here locally. It's a, this is a very nice historic district right down here on Clough Pike. Mm -hmm. And I think it started with the building of, of Clough Pike in about 1802 or 1803, mm -hmm. which was a, a toll road for a lot, a lot of years. From I think about uh, eight, 18, I want to say 1825 to 1911, I believe. Right. When the, I think the county bought it at that point. But uh, we would like to invite you down to the Log House, which is open on the first and third Sundays from May through October, 1 to 4 p.m. And when you're done there, you can come up here to Greenfield Farms, which is right here next to us, since part of the James Clark property. And at this point, they will be dedicating a historic plaque mm -hmm. here on September 16th. The house will be open. It's not furnished on the inside, but... Uh, you can see how people uh, tried to live uh, 200 and nearly 225 years ago here in Anderson Township.